Hey guys, what's up? Been MIA on shed hunting for a little bit. You still doing vlogs, Mark? Dude, I still vlog when I'm not <laughs> when I'm not filming for Hush. No. But we got a couple truck bed fulls of antler. Here's Eric's pile. Some horns for Hudson that he's gonna sell to uh, go towards getting a new heart for a young kid. I have some of my sheds. Got the elk, some of my better elk, the big four hundo from way back in the OG days of vlogging. And then of course the moose sheds, they get to sit up front, get the special treatment. So we're gonna go over there now and uh, see what everybody has for antlers. It's gonna be fun. Shed and tail, here we go. Like I was saying, this is probably gonna be the last like shed type of uh, content I get for the year. So I just wanna say thank you to everyone who's watched and supported my shed hunting over the last few years, especially. I don't post a lot, but when I do, it's nice because you guys uh, always give good feedback and you're always positive and enjoy, seem to enjoy my videos. So thank you for watching. I do have a couple of shed videos that I gotta still edit. So those will post. Then it's time to transition into summer scouting and whatnot and I'll be filming hunts for hush and all their other activities that they go on so thank you and let's go enjoy some shed and tail seeing a bunch of antlers for those of you that aren't from utah this is like the great or the cottonwood heights area in the salt lake valley look at the mountains that we have so pretty big old peaks still a ton of snow on them this is kind of where i went to high school is up in this area it is a pretty dang special place we live. I mean, we got the American flag flying, moose antlers in the back. It's a dang good day to live in the USA. <laughs> oh, so cheesy. All right, we are pulling in. There is the barbecue, probably gonna be the first stop of the trip. Here are all the antlers, check it out. Look at all of them. There goes Eric. Everybody already looking at all the antlers. All the shedophiles as uh, Wes calls them. Fondling all the antler antlers. Alright guys, we're here. I wanted to show you this set specifically. This is a bull that I was watching um, a few years back. And uh, Chad Hendricks, he ended up finding his sheds. And then the next year, that bull ended up getting killed. And this guy was the one he was hanging with. So pretty cool. He's got a pretty dang good moose shed collection. We've got some deer. This is the horns for Hudson. Pretty dang good pile going on. And then a bunch of big deer sheds. Brian Heward found a lot of these. These are some of Eric's sheds. Got his funky bowl from a couple years back. This one's from a few years back, but giant bowl, triple brow. Bowl from Arizona. You guys probably remember that one. That was a recent trip we went on. So cool. Here is his mega five point from earlier in the spring. This bowl here is like a 370 class bowl. And just for a size comparison, look at that five point. Bunch of sheds, good times, bunch of good people here came together to celebrate shed hunting and just kind of hang out, catch up. One day. <laughs> Hold him up one more time. What? So what do you score? Four, four, 401. Dang, look at this bowl, guys. That's probably the prettiest bowl like I've seen. Oh, yeah. Especially that view right there from the front. Right there. Oh my gosh. But he's dead now? He's You're dead saying? Now. Dead? He's Dang. He's dead. Crazy. <laughs> that that's is crazy. huge. So big. And then that's that one was one. This was one ninety. 
This bull ended up scoring 393. Dang, 393. That horse is big as you. With a drop tine, a cheater, a giant third. This side had a 15 inch mass measurement. First one. Wow. Gigantic. Um, same bull, another year. Huge, oh, you're good. Huge fronts. Like, up to my elbows. Look at this ice cream truck. That's what you got. That's why you go out there, dude. That's why I'm gonna find figure. Connor's gonna go find those suckers. So this is found last year in that condition. Trying to decide if these are which one is the set. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm with this one. That big set. I don't know. That one looks pretty good together. Oh yeah. But in my opinion. The only thing that throws me off is this is the only year he does that on this side. Oh man. And, 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 uh, it was super high, like it was like in home This section ball. right here, mm -hmm. I feel matches up better There's with this section than it does right here it's with that section. For like age or mass? Find tons in the desert, but All of it. There's so many more bulls than what previous was Dude, I don't know. <laughs> That's, I don't know! We gotta go find more stuff! Conroll on IG. Here's his big old deer sheds. They went over 200, 201, I think. Big old set he picked up. Everybody having a good time. That's what it's all about right there. All right, it's getting dark. Everybody is kind of wrapping it up, but it was such a dang good time. We see some bulls and moose and antlers we all have history with and seen on the gram and YouTube. And I wanted to give a shout out to Wes, Rise and Shed. He, What's up guys? He put this on. He has a badass YouTube channel, Instagram. He shed hunts like a boss. Go follow him. Um, dude, what do you got going on here? All right, so originally we were just doing a shed and tell because I love shed hunting and I wanted to get people together and have a little barbecue, have people come out, bring sheds, tell some awesome stories. But then I was approached by Brian Heward and Chase, Chase Skinner, sorry. Has a little boy who uh, has a heart condition and he needs a heart transplant. So what we did is we have a donation pile that's gonna go to the GoFundMe and we have a donation fishbowl back there with a little bit of cash in it. And then I also was told that we'll later auction off these sheds. But for right now, guys, I, that's, that's everything. That is, that is exactly why we did this. We raised some money for an awesome cause. You say the GoFundMe, what is it? Uh, a Heart for Hudson. Heart for Hudson, you can go donate and hopefully get this little dude um, hooked up with the heart. They, they need to raise a lot of money and it's pretty sad that someone's got to go through that and it's cool that everybody in the hunting outdoor and like community could come together because of Wes and uh, it's because of these guys. and because of these guys and, and help some people out so anyways like I was saying go get some uh, this is the new, the new uh, Conquer the Mountain shirt. I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go get me a shirt right now. And like I said, go follow Wes. He's a freaking solid dude. We gotta go get a chef hunt still together. Probably next year now, but uh, unless you got some good desert units, we're gonna go do some shed hunt. Thanks for watching, guys.